Okay, y'all. I said I'm gonna take this video since I still got like 30 minutes of work left. So I'm like, I'll just go ahead and make another video and I'll have it posted by tomorrow. So this story time video is gonna be about what the fuck was that? Who was that, y'all? What the? Okay, so this story time video is gonna be about uh this dude uh I met on tag tag date horrible horrible y'all fucking horrible man and I ain't even gonna say it's a date shit he was just gonna take me out and we we're gonna go get some food now let's start off by saying okay I'm on tag but when I be on tag, it ain't for, like, fucking and shit. It's just more of, like, linking and hanging out, making new friends. Because that's when I first got here to Houston. And back home in Louisiana, we used to just use it to meet people that are close and around and link. So I changed my location. This dude hit me up. And he like, hey, you want to go out to eat? Bro, I don't look at nobody. For their looks or nothing because I feel like I used to be ugly. So I don't be trying to judge nobody on the way they look. But he was not attractive. Let's say he looked like a short, bald nigga that's chubby that be having on tight ass clothes. That's how he look in person. His pictures, I don't think they were giving that. I think they were just giving regular nigga. So... I'm like, yeah, we can go eat. And this is earlier in the day. Keep this in mind. And my friend, me and her were texting about linking together. And I was like, shit, after this, we can link. But she had to drive from Lake Jackson all the way to Houston for this link. So I'm like, shit, I got time today because I got time. So keep this in mind. The place we was going wasn't too far. It was right up the street from my house in Pearland. So, and it, during this time, this is when I just got to Houston, I had no car. So, I'm like, cool. I let everybody know I was going and let them know what, sent them a picture of him and all that shit. And we went, he, okay, let's say this. He took me to this nice ass restaurant. Bro, it was number of white people in there, so I know it was nice. But let's go back. Let's go back, y'all. Let's go back. When I first hop in the car, he pull up. He got a truck. Most niggas in Houston have a truck. So he pulls up in a truck. And I hop in the truck. He like, oh, yeah, you cute. This, this, and that. So the place we were supposed to go to, he was like, I want to take you to this nice steakhouse place. I don't remember the name of it, honestly, because this happened about five years ago. I just know it was a nice ass restaurant. And I'm like, cool. Keep this in mind. On the way there, we in the car and we running it. We talking and shit. And this nigga is spilling all his business. All his business. I don't know if he thought, hey, if I spill all my business to old gal, she gonna give me some ass. Cause she gonna think I'm that nigga. Huh? I'm that nigga. And I'm like, Okay, y'all want to know his business? Because I can tell y'all his business. Because he told me his business. So, I'm going to tell y'all his business. Uh, So, he started running it. He was like, I work, uh, I drive trucks. I drive trucks. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, lie. This is what he said. He drives trucks now, then, yeah. But what he said was, I had just got a settlement. I had just got a settlement for $150,000 because I got into a car accident with an 18-wheeler, and it messed me up and this and that. And you can tell that he was feeling cocky about it because he was like, man, I got this money, so ho got to fuck with me. Nigga, $150,000. 
And with your habits that I'm finna find out you got, that should be gone by two days, nigga. Two days. What? Well, where am I gonna get mine at if yours is gone in two days, nigga? The fuck? So then, he started telling me, after he gonna spill all his business, talking about he don't want a hundred, he got a hundred and fifty thousand off a settlement. He goes into saying, yeah, I was just fucking with this girl yesterday. Nigga, what? I was just fucking with this girl yesterday. And we had been hanging around. She had been in my hotel room for a few days. But I had to send this hoe home. Because this hoe doing all my motherfucking coke. What, sir? She doing all you. What, sir? All of his coke. His coke. He like, yeah, the bitch done sniffed all my motherfucking coke. Got her nose all bleeding and shit. I had to take the whole home. Okay, from this point I knew things could only motherfucking get worse. Because I'm with a motherfucking fiend. Oh, shit. I'm with a fiend, bitch. I'm like, okay. I don't judge people for what they do. Feel me? I don't judge you. Like, if you want to stick that shit up your nose, that's on you. That's your nose. It ain't my nose. So, y'all, yeah. this nigga, he talking about, after he said that he didn't put the bitch out because of her doing all this coke, he going and saying, yeah, I had to give me some more. I had to give me some more coke because this bitch did all my coke. Then he going and saying, and this truck. I just bought this truck so I can start hot shot doing CDL jobs, carrying stuff from city to city. I'm going to use this truck, start my own trucking company. Nigga, with 150000 on the rate that you're doing coke, that trucking company will never happen. Will never happen, bud. Never. Never. Ever. 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 Happen. So then... He goes to say that, yeah, you know, I'm a boss-ass nigga. Only bosses do shit like that. Boss? Nigga, you got 150000 from a settlement from you getting hit in the ass. <laughs> what the fuck? Nigga, you don't motherfucking boss, nigga. But I digress. So, we pull up to the restaurant. It's nice as fuck, like I said. It's hella white people in this motherfucking restaurant. So... Yes, it's nice. So we walk in. Everybody looking at us awkwardly upside our head because we the only niggas in here. And I start looking at the menu and the prices. So he started off. Well, before he looked at the menu, keep this in mind. They're going to say, oh, just get whatever you want. Then he's going to tell the lady, hey, can you just bring bring us some wine? So they have bottles of wine. They don't know glasses, bitch. You paying for a bottle. And you drink from that. So after he did that as soon as we sat down before he looked in the menu. So we started looking at the menu. I'm looking at the price. The shit in this bitch is high. No lie. It was high. But it, nigga, why the fuck would you bring me if you don't want to spend that? So then he go into saying, oh, uh, yeah. I don't know if I want anything from here. You don't want anything from here. You the one brought me here, bud. <laughs> you brought me here. You brought me. So then, he goes to say, uh... Maybe we uh go to this other spot I know about. And I'm like, okay, cool. But they had already brought the glad the uh thing of wine. So when the waitress came back to ask us what do we want to eat, he was just like, 
Can I just pay for the wine? And uh, that's all we want. Bro, we was in there maybe like five minutes talking, bro. And all the white people. And keep this in mind. The whole time we at the table, he doing it. <laughs> I know I'm doing it, but this nigga doing it constantly. Like he, oh man, wiping his nose and shit. All the white people are paying attention to this. And he is a nigga. He start. Fuck they looking at me for. What the me in my mind, I'm like, bro, why the fuck did I come on this motherfucking date with this motherfucking... Oh, why am I here? Why am I here? So, during this time, we like... He like, uh... We get the check and we leave. And everybody noticing that we're leaving. We just got there. So, they know one thing. Oh, yeah, these niggas cannot afford this shit. That's the only look that... I know that we get in. We get in the car, back in his truck. He starts to talk again. And this time, I don't remember what he's talking about because I'm already, like, on some frustrated shit. I'm just trying to get out of the situation. So, I call my friend. I didn't call my friend. I'm lying. I text her, and I'm like, hey, where you at? And she was like, shit, I'm on my way to Houston now. And I'm like, bet, bitch, bet. I'm going to get you to meet me. And I'm asking him, hey, where are we going? I'm going to get my friend to pull up and come hang out with us. He like, okay, cool. Then nigga take us to uh, the Cheesecake Factory, Cheesecake Bistro, something like that. That's where we ended up at. So y'all know it's a big, a big motherfucking price difference. Mr. I just got $150,000. So... Big fucking price difference. So now, we pull up here, and I text my friend, and because uh, he just told me we wanted to Cheesecake Factory. So I'm like, okay, cool. I text my friend, and I'm like, bitch, meet me here. Sent her the exact address. Told her to tell me exactly how far you are. Keep me up to date on when you will be pulling up, baby. When will you be pulling up, baby? I need to know. So then, uh, me and him, this is right before she came. So me and uh, him, we eating and talking and shit. And keep this in mind, we sitting in the back in the corner, and there's white people across from us. Like I told you, bro, this is, I didn't even eat my food after this. This nigga, I told you he been rubbing on his nose the whole fucking time and sniffling and shit because he has... Nose problems. So then, bro, why this nigga, I guess he, I don't know if he coughed or if he sneezed or what. Soon as he did it. And you know, because if you do that shit, your nose, your hairs, them bitches is gone. They gone. You ain't got nothing to hold your snot or none of that up there because that shit is burnt off. This nigga snot run all down his face, on his mouth, all that. The white people looking right at him like, oh, that's disgusting. Then nigga, he wipe, he get the thing, wipe his face and start blowing his nose in it, this, this, and that. He said, what the fuck they looking at? What the fuck y'all looking at? White people did not say nothing. They did not say nothing. They just turned around. And went back to eating their food. And I know they were like, damn, bro. Let me ask my fucking waitress if we can move from over here by these niggas. Nigga, I wish I could move with y'all. I wanted to go with y'all. What the fuck? Let me sit at the table with you white people. I didn't want to be there either. What the fuck? I did not want to be there either. So, by this time, my friend, my friend, she's texting me. And she's like, hey, bitch, I'm pulling up. I'm like, shit, bet. Come in. Get you some food if you want to. He gonna pay for it. Come get you some food. So my friend, she gets herself some food. We still sitting here. She getting the same vibes as me. Bitch, we gotta dump this nigga. So me and her are texting each other back and forth like, oh, yeah. We are finna dump this nigga as soon as we get a chance to, bro. Soon as we get a chance, we gotta get the fuck away from this man. 
So I'm like, cool, bet. So then we end up finishing the food. He paid for it. It wasn't a lot because, nigga, it was fucking Cheesecake Factory. It was not a lot. So then me and my friend, I was like, okay, bitch, I got it. I'm like, my friend wanted to ride in the car with her. So how about we just follow you where we're going next? Because he was like, yeah, I want to take y'all out to a club. I want to take y'all out to a club and have some bad bitches with me. I bet you do. So then we were like, that's cool. We're just going to follow you. Because my friend wanted to ride in the car with her. He's like, okay, all right, for real, for real, follow me. You promise y'all going to follow, y'all going to meet me for real? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, my friend, so we get in the car. He drives off. We follow him at first. And I'm like, bitch, first chance you get duck somewhere, something. So then he hits me up and he's like, hey, I don't see y'all behind me. And I'm like, oh, just send me the address and we'll meet you there. My friend, she doesn't drive fast. She doesn't drive really good. So we're going to be a minute. And you were driving really fast. So then, I, he's like, okay, all right, for real, meet me there, for real, meet me there. Promise you're going to meet me there? I'm like, yeah. He texted me that address. I said, bitch, I'm finna block his ass. After that, that nigga kept texting me, where you at? That's fake as fuck. Damn, that's fucked up. You just got me sitting up here waiting on you. That ain't right to treat somebody that way. I wouldn't have done that to you. Nigga, you are a fiend. Nigga, I'm trying to get as far away from your ass as possible. Far. Like, now far. Then, uh, maybe a few months after that, because like I told y'all, I had uh, stopped talking to him, blocked him on social medias and stuff. Not, I didn't block him. I just stopped replying. Shit, he got the drift, nigga. If a bitch does not show up to the spot that you, and she's telling you she's going to show up there, and she does not reply, she does not want to talk to you. So then, it was probably about a month or two after that, he going to hit me up on the same dating site that we was uh, writing on to my, hey, remember me? Nigga, yeah. I did not reply, nigga. Did not reply, no reason to. No, I, I do remember you, yes. But I do not want to see you, dumbass. Why would I want to see you, nigga? I ran away from you. Why would you even hit me up right now? If you know I just ran away from you, bro. Truly ran away from you. I had to run away from you, cuz. Run away from you. So then, he was like, uh... He kept hitting me up, hey, what you doing, hey, what you doing, hey, what you doing? I told my friend the other day, I was like, bitch, I, we had to ditch his ass. I had to, I had to. Shit happens. I'm gonna come back with another.